It has been quite a while since I made a video. I, uh, I've been kind of on a little bit of a break. I am on holidays. I've had a lot of homework to do, but I am preparing for the global championship. It's tomorrow, the global NBA 2K championship. Um, I will be competing in that. I am in the uh, the Australia Pacific, the Asia Pacific, the Australia New Zealand qualifier tomorrow at 1 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. So I'm very look much looking forward to that. Uh, but we'll quickly shoot through all of these news here. I'm not doing a webcam today. I might just do webcam for certain videos uh, instead of just doing it for all so I can push out a lot more videos at once uh, but we'll jump straight into the news we've got a lot to cover so I'm going to go through it as much and as fast as I can uh, now first off the main thing today uh, the Oklahoma City Thunder are looking to trade center Stephen Adams now in return they are looking for a young player a draft pick and salary rel relief uh, now obviously uh, the Oklahoma City Thunder picked up CP3 this offseason uh, Stephen Adams is a great he's still quite young he doesn't look young I know he's in his late 20s from memory, um, but he's still a solid big man inside big man. Uh, I think any team would be willing to pick him up. Now, Steph Curry has come out and said that he is willing to play another six years in the NBA before retiring. Uh, now, I, I'm having a bit of a mental a little mental fade at the moment, but I'm pretty sure Curry is 34 years old, the same age as LeBron, um, and that means six years. I know LeBron says that if he can play till he's 40, he can play until uh, Bronny's in the league, and then maybe him and Bronny can be the father-son duo, but Curry will be playing another six years according to him uh, now Christoph Spazingas who's been out for longer than a season more than a year is expected to miss anywhere from 15 to 20 games this season uh, just for load management obviously coming off this horrific injury he um we don't know if he's going to come back to being you know as great and like that potential that he had uh, we don't know if he can reach that but due to load management he will miss up to 20 games this season now Anthony Bennett he will be waived by the Houston Rockets that came out today uh, because of his knee surgery they have decided to waive him. Uh, this might be an opportunity to bring back Mello. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, Anthony Bennett will no longer be in the league. Now, co-founder of the big ball brand, Alan Foster, is co uh, counter-suing Lonzo and LeVar Ball in regards to a breach of contract. I have no idea about this. I know Lonzo has said that he wants to change BB, like he wants to change the name of big ball brand to something else. Um, I don't really watch Keeping Up With the, the, what's the, the Ball Family TV show. I don't really watch that. I did in the first season, but... Um, um, yeah, obviously, there's a bit of drama going on with them at the moment. Uh, now, Jalen Brown has come out and confirmed that the Boston Celtics have approached him for a contract extension. Uh, now, Jason Tatum, obviously, he signed on for a few more years, uh, but Jalen Brown's kind of like the little brother. They kind of want to keep him around, but he could be a, a vital trade piece as well. He's a young player and definitely has a bright future. Kyle Kuzma has signed a new five-year, $15 million deal with Puma. Uh, he is now the athletic face of the company. It's great news for him. He was with Nike uh, since his rookie year and now is becoming the face of Puma. Uh, now, Kelly Oubre Jr. is out indefinitely with a hand discomfort. Not huge things. Uh, people are going to certainly make some jokes about that, but he's out indefinitely with hand discomfort. Andre Roberson is expected to be a part of the upcoming training camp for the Thunder. Great news for the Thunder. Now, OKC obviously l losing Paul George and Russell Westbrook. They kind of got hated on a little bit, saying that, you know, they're not going to be as good. They're probably going to be, you know, bottom of the West or and around the bottom of the, uh, the power rankings as well. I honestly, if they can be, if all the players in their lineup can play decent, if those young guys can get some minutes, I do think they can be you know, around a 30, 40 win team still. Um, that's probably, it could be a stretch for some people, but I do think they can do all right. Uh, now the Chicago Bulls have approached Chris Dunn, letting him know they are planning to upgrade the point guard position. Uh, now Chris Dunn being the starting point guard, um, you know, it's a bit, he's in a bit of hot water at the moment, but Chicago, they are rebuilding. They are trying to get, you know, they might, you know, quote unquote, be tanking a little bit, uh, but they, they could have a good season this year. I, I might make a separate video on my kind of expectations for this season, uh, but I do think the Bulls will do all right. Uh, now, Clay Thompson will be out for around 55 games. That's the expected uh, stretch of time that he'll miss, and uh, they're placing his return around the All-Star break. So, if, uh, if as long as D'Angelo Russell and Curry, they can kind of hold it down uh, for a little bit, I mean, and Draymond as well, he is an all-star, as long as they kind of hold this team together for the first kind of half, little bit of the season, uh, you know, bring back Clay Thompson around the all-star break, I think they could uh, maybe make a late finals run, uh, maybe make it in an, an eighth seed, um, but I mean, if, if the Warriors do make the eighth seed, they are pretty dangerous in the playoffs, their home court, like if they can get in that home court, um, you know, obviously being the eighth seed, they won't get the advantage, but uh, they are a pretty dangerous team, so we'll keep going on now, uh, back 
back with the Warriors, actually, they have no plans of resting Curry this season. Obviously, Clay is out, so they want to play Curry as much as they can, uh, which is a pretty obvious thing. Now, Paul George is out until at least November with his shoulder recovery. He will not be playing any preseason. He will miss the start of the season. Uh, so it's kind of bad news for Clippers fans, but it's, it's probably best for him to fully recover from the surgery. I think it's his second surgery this offseason from memory on his, on his shoulder, uh, but hopefully he'll come back and uh, be a great player as he always is. Now, the Cleveland Cavaliers have come out and said they plan to rest Kevin Love this season. This, this is what really annoys me. This is the one news story that really bugged me. Um, Kevin Love is... Kevin Love in Minnesota was when I kind of first started getting into the NBA. Um, he was a, a phenomenal player. He still is, but I think resting Kevin Love is one of probably the worst things the Cavs can do at the moment in my eyes. There would be other people who would probably think differently, but I think at this point, the Cavs are rebuilding. They're not going to, they're not a, a chance at the playoffs. They are literally just a young team, You're getting their young core together. I would say Kevin Love isn't at the point of being a veteran yet. I would say trade him. He is still, he, he, he could still reach his, um, his potential. Like he, he could go back to being in his prime again, but if you're going to rest him for an entire season, it's just wasting this man career. So I reckon Kevin Love deserves and needs to be traded. Maybe there could be a Kevin Love, Stephen Adams sort of trade. Something like that. Um, but I do feel bad for Kevin Love at the moment. Now Damien Lillard says he does not plan to use load management this season. Um, there's a lot of uh, beef with Damien Lillard and Shaquille O'Neal at the moment. Uh, the uh, the other day they had the uh, the diss tracks at each other. That was one of the like the best things about this offseason. Um, if you guys haven't seen it, just search up a video on YouTube explaining it. It is amazing. Damien Lillard and Shaq going back at each other. Uh, which was great to see. Dennis Smith Jr. says he has lost 15 pounds this summer, this offseason, uh, which if you're using metric, uh, which works out to about 7 kilograms, uh, he says he's lost that much weight over the past few uh, over the past few months. Uh, Willie Cauley-Stein will miss training camp and the start of the season with a mid-foot sprain. Uh, kind of bad news for the Warriors, another kind of injury they have to deal with, uh, but that will give Kevon Looney and some of the younger boys a bit of a run, which will be good to see. Uh, Drew Holland Holiday has re-signed with Nike on a multi-year footwear and apparel deal. Uh, great for Drew Holiday, obviously being more of a veteran kind of uh, an older player on the on that uh, that Pelicans team. And lastly, Jan Mahimi is out at least six weeks with a strained Achilles tendon. Uh, so Jan Mahimi, obviously being with the Wizards at the moment from memory, um, you know he's uh, he I think he signed the new contract last season or this off season. He uh, he signed the, the new contract. So I mean I hope he uh, hopefully he fully recovers covers. So guys, that is all the news for the past few kind of days, the main news stories. Um, it's a quick little video, eight minutes long. I tried to squeeze as much of it as I could into it. Uh, so thank you all for listening and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.